I started my art, well, again, I did start as a child, I always loved art, but really seriously, about 15 years ago, um, I started painting and um, I'm fortunate that I could um, have a studio in my home. I live on um, family century farm, very old. I, it's old and rusty, we make it cute. Uh, but I'm fortunate to have a studio and a gallery on the farm that um, I can actually make a mess, leave it and come back. I, you know, I paint till one or two in the morning sometimes. I am a night owl. What something people may not know about me is I am a financial planner. So I have this very tangled mind I am a, a CFP and so I uh, work with technology a lot and um, stock market and I have for 25 years. It's kind of interesting. I used to do art that was um, geared around the stock market. I'd see a chart and I'd make an abstract art piece of art around it. So kind of crazy, really crazy. Um, but yeah, I kind of have both sides of those brains, hopefully coordinating, not fighting, but coordinating. I like kind of the edgy people, I love Picasso, and, um, and that's really what has influenced my abstract art because um, i just not afraid to do something new and different and exciting, and so that's kind of what I want to do. Staring at a white canvas can be scary, and I love it when I, uh, the first, my first method is, the first part of my process, if you will, is I put all sorts of color on it. No matter what it will ultimately end up as, I just gotta get rid of the white. And so I'll, I'll put different colors because I, I layer up all my paintings, whether it's going to be a, a landscape or a, a figure or whatever. And so I gotta get rid of the white. And so when that part is done, I feel better and I feel like, okay, now I can develop this into whatever it's going to be. What makes my work unique I think for me is I have a really hard time relaxing for one thing and I'm sure many people do but I want to make art that's um, easy that kind of draws you in kind of is a little bit of escape from wherever you are right now and um, I um, kind of call it almost meditative art or abstracts with um, abstracts with a view so that's kind of what life has kind of developed into my art if you will.